Hi, this is Jonathan. I stopped using pedals for many years. The only time I'm using pedals is at home uh, when I'm practicing. And uh, that's about it. I've gone on my days of uh, chasing uh, all sorts of pedals, you know, that caught my fancy. In this video though, I'm going to feature this pedal. This is the TC Electronic uh, Force Fuel Compressor. So let's unbox this uh, force fuel compressor from TC Electronics. Very easy. Um, sort of instruction manual here. Just a basic uh, description of what this pedal is all about. Yeah. Built like a tank, pretty heavy. You don't want to drop this on someone's head. What does it say here? Alright, engineering demo. Uh, most probably made in China. Alright, so we have the sustain, the attack, and the level. So it's a true bypass, very simple enough, very um, basic. You have the um, input and output, and a nine C, uh, a nine volt power in. Yeah. If you have seen the other videos that I did about how to use compressor for vocals, the workaround and the parameters are about the same, you know, for the guitar compressor pedal, except for the fact that uh, for the guitar pedal, the compressors has been um, more or less made simple uh, to just three knobs: sustain, attack, and level. In this case. Uh, it's not because uh, the manufacturer or the designer thinks that uh, that we guitarists are simpletons, but it's just that we guitarists have a whole lot of stuff to think about when we're on stage, you know. 
you know, the other effects, you know, and adjusting the effects as we go song by song, you know, stepping all over the place, trying to balance yourself and not falling off, you know, and your posture, the way you look, how cool you want to be, and the notes that you're going to play. And if you're, if you're a singer, guitarist, you have to sing too. So there's a whole lot of stuff that goes on in our mind. And the more simple the interface for us, the better it is. So there you go, simple. So this is the uh, normal sound uh, without the uh, compressor on. The compressor on. My sustain is at uh, about, what, 10 o'clock. So it sounds... You can hear the slight compression, uh, but as I bring it up, you, you get even more. And it tends to get a little bit louder. They are kind of like compressing everything in, so the softer uh, nuances will be brought up. Can you hear a difference? It sustains a little bit more. At its um, maximum sustained or compression or threshold, whichever it is, uh, you get even more s noise if your pickups are single call. Maximum, you can hear the noise coming out. I wouldn't go all the way up here. Uh, I'll probably like you know, bring about two or three o'clock at the max. Of course, the attack is uh, very subtle. At its uh, counterclockwise, most counterclockwise position, I guess this is where the least attack is. I think it's good for solo work if you want to have that slow, uh, you know, wave up. more musical. If you bring it up, you know, from one end to the other end, this is like more attack. This is probably good for like, you know, uh, if you're doing rhythm, so you cut down the, the uh, what you call that, the uh, sustain, you can bring up to the maximum, meaning can you You probably have to decide what you want to use this for. If it's going to be like, you know, for a, like how I use it, I have this compressor, I'll probably have this compressor on all the time. And uh, I'll probably set it up somewhere around here. So I can hear all the notes in my chords. get away with some of the lines. Yeah. 
And if I were to like uh, use it for a particular effect, like for example, if I want to use this for recording, if I bring out the sustain, then it will be probably around here where I can get a nice sustain sound. If I'm gonna use this pedal as a as a a, a regular pedal, like you had, I mean, having it on all the time, then I'll probably set a level that I'm comfortable with, where and the sustain will be at a minimum, where I can just get a a nice, uh, you know, a nice slightly compressed uh, guitar sound before I head into the other effects like the distortion or the the uh, the amplifiers or whatnot. Um, you know how, you know, just have it on all the time. And the attack, I would probably put it somewhere in the middle so I can have, like, you know, best of both worlds. But if I'm gonna use this effect as an effect, you know, uh, meaning if I were to kick in it, kick in this effect when I'm using a, uh, when I'm playing a solo line, I'll probably set the level to maybe about two o'clock, so that when I activate this pedal, I will have a sort of a volume boost and a gain boost to it, and that would more or less enhance what I'm trying to do. Uh, the thing with compressor effects is that you can actually get a real nice solo sound with just clean guitar. You know, without using the amp saturation or any distortion pedal, you can actually get a nice solo line, uh, a nice solo sound with just a compressor. And I've always, um, you know, always been attracted to that kind of sound ever since I first heard some of the early recordings by Larry Carlton for other projects like you know I, I listen to a lot of David Gates you know back David Gates is part of Bread the group Bread and he has a couple of solo albums and I always liked the guitar solos that that is featured prominently in his in his previous albums and uh, I, I believe Larry Carlton played in some of them and some of them is by, some of them are done by Dean Parks if you remember this song called Goodbye Girl um, Goodbye doesn't mean forever you know they had a great solo there, and that was relatively clean. You know, there's not much distortion in there. It's probably done by a, 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 a humbucker, a humbucking guitar, uh, but it sounds so good. You know, and you can tell there's a whole lot of compression there. Probably a uh, a boss CS1 at play. I don't know, could be. Anyway, you could get a really nice guitar or uh, solo sound, uh, clean ones with a compressor pedal like this. Now the reason why I'm choose a Telecaster for the playthrough is because I just want to illustrate how noisy it will get if you're using a single coil pickup. As you know, single coil pickups are prone to 60 cycle hum. So what the way the way the compressor works is that it would, uh, you know, enhance the softer nuances and compress the louder nuances of your sound. So in this case, the 60 cycle hum is like in the background, so it will enhance the 60 cycle hum to a point where it gets pretty irritating if you have your sustain knob all the way up, you know. As you increase, you, you can tell the difference as has been shown in the, uh, in the demo. Anyway, unless you're using a noiseless single coil pickup or a active pickup or you're using humbuckers. So if you're, if you're using a humbucker guitar like a Les Paul or, you know, a PRS, you will most likely get a real nice sound because the humbuckers already have a bit of a compression there. Uh, coupled with this, you know, it's pretty interesting. Uh, if I were to use my humbucker guitars, uh, my guitars with humbuckers, I will probably not have the sustain go too high. You know, just, just, just enough so that I can have that sustain as well as the attack and everything. And uh, yeah, it works really well. You know, using compressors with uh, distortion units or with the amp saturation uh, is what I used to do. It's what I'm still doing nowadays. And it gives me a, a, a whole lot of palette, uh, of, of tonal palettes to play around with. So, you know, I thought you'd be uh, interested to know uh, what you can do with your compressor uh, effect pedal. So check out this TCA Tronics. Um, I don't think it's that expensive. I, I, you know, back in the days, you know, I love TC electronic stuff. Just that it was so expensive for me uh, back in the days. You know, uh, nowadays they are like becoming more and more affordable. I guess, um, yeah, probably the marketing strategy has changed, and I'm glad for that. You know, I might just start going to pedals again. I don't know. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you do, give me a thumbs up, and uh, feel free to subscribe to this channel if you want to. So in the meantime, you guys take care, ciao, 
God bless.